We had our first date in New Orleans. It was the afternoon. We went to a... IMAX. Yes. And we saw a movie about whales. Yes. And he fell asleep during the movie and he snorted himself awake. <laughs> so and romantic. I still was in love with him. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dana Perino. And I'm Peter McMahon. And our story is about love. Peter and I first met on a flight from Denver to Chicago in August of 1997. I was walking down the jetway behind this cute little blonde with a ponytail swinging, and I thought, I hope I sit beside her. When we sat down, I did this quick check. I was like, oh, he's cute, and he's not wearing a wedding ring, and he has a British accent. I lived in the UK, wasn't looking for any kind of relationship, and Dana looks the way she does, and I look the way I do. So Although cute. I did have hair in those days, and we just talked and two and a half hours later, exchange details. I wanted to make it look like an actual business card because I didn't want him to think I was just giving him my number. <laughs> oh, home number, office number, fax number and email address. Yeah. And all week I'd been thinking about Dana, I couldn't stop thinking about her. I wrote Dana an email telling her how I felt. I spent those 10 days unable to eat or sleep or even read, I love to read, and I logged onto my computer and I got his email. You've got mail. We talked on the phone the next day, spent about 45 minutes talking to her. And $45. And $45, <laughs> yeah. A week before I was due to go to Texas, Dana said, it's a shame I won't see you until the end of your trip. So just as a throwaway line, I said, well, you could always come to New Orleans for the weekend in between. And I was like, what kind of girl do you think I am? I'm not yeah. doing that, are you crazy? Said, on the Wednesday evening, Dana told me, I'll come to New Orleans for the weekend. I got to New Orleans on the Friday evening, rushed to the hotel to freshen up, then went back to the airport and walked around like a teenager on his first date, waiting for <laughs> Dana's flight to arrive. And I thought, I'm either gonna run off this plane or I will never get off. We were outside Washington Cathedral. On the spur of the moment, <laughs> I got down on one knee in front of her and said, will you marry me? It's the only way we can be together. And she kind of laughed it off. No, but, well, um, I was like, can you hold that thought? Yes, yeah, hold know, that just, thought, it was yeah. all happening. Well, I didn't expect an answer at that moment anyway. It was, it was kind of, Partly in jest, on the, the year anniversary of us meeting, Dana gave me a letter, and the letter told me how much she loved me, how much she had enjoyed her time in the UK, how much she enjoyed being with me. And then at the end, she said, yes, I will marry you. It's true. I really think that one of the things that has helped us have such a strong relationship all these years is I support him in, in his work, but he's really allowed me to spread my wings. Flourish, blossom. Okay. Yes. Something like that. <laughs> it's love.